we gotta talk. Today we're talking about the biggest scandal I've seen in the gaming industry in, and that you might even be sitting in it. Yeah, the big booster seat you got in the room. We gotta talk about gaming chairs today. Oh, it hurts like just to say it, gaming chair. It's a giant scam from every major PC gaming oriented tech company. Thank you. Here at Razer E3, we decided that we announce the new gaming stepdad. We created the first ever RGB ankle bracelet. Don't get me wrong, I like the idea of a gaming oriented chair. Maybe you got some insane comfort, you got adjustable tilting everything. Oh wait a minute, oopsies, uh oh, I'm so stupid, oh. I wasn't thinking of gaming chairs, I was thinking of office chairs. Because a gaming chair is none of those things. I'm not exaggerating, these things suck. They're not comfortable at all. It's just the computer version of the race car bed. Actually, I, I take that back. The race car beds are infinitely cooler. Here's one of the reasons these things are so incredibly uncomfortable. The design and shape of the chair. Bucket seats grip and squeeze your body like a carbon fiber straitjacket, keeping you stationary while sustaining extreme g-forces. These things belong in race cars and they were designed for such. Take my word for it. Bucket seats are not fun to sit in for more than 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, this is definitely the way I want to sit at my computer. Oh, if only I could be this uncomfortable while browsing the web. I'm no pro gamer ninja, so maybe I don't know anything about this topic, but I'm pretty sure this is not the optimal way to play Fortnite. The reason the bucket seat really doesn't work even beyond comfort is because it's designed to keep you locked in place. Your shoulders are gonna be protruding forward, locked in, so you can't really make much movement. It's designed to keep you stationary. If I needed to move my right hand for a mouse or to Hit my gamer keys. This is this is a uh, suboptimal. These things were designed to belong in race cars. You know the things that sacrifice every single human creature comfort imaginable for a slight edge in performance. And and yeah, these these chairs aren't true bucket seats in any sense of the imagination, but at the same time, they carry over a lot of those uncomfortable design ergonomics that just make it. Bleh. This all started when my last chair just imploded after apparently multi-generational years of use. So I took a trip to the nearest Staples to find an adequate replacement. And there she was. Sleek curves, contoured hips, and that European fine stitching. The chair that holds up the legends of esports athletes and gods alike. I turned away, bashful, that I would never be worthy of such elitism. Surely, my wallet wouldn't afford me such luxuries. I sat in all the executive chairs built to keep you as comfortable as possible during years of miserable paperwork. Then I did it. I did the unthinkable. I sat in the gaming chair. I felt the power coursing through my veins as the, the gamer energy ran through me. And then I realized that's not power coursing through my veins. My butt's just tingly and numb because I'm sitting on a piece of plywood. Wait a minute. That's not hand stitching. Did they forget the padding in this one? You can only adjust it up and down? This is a fucking ripoff. These things suck. Push, push. My chair broke? I've sat in bleachers more comfortable than these. These chairs are so uncomfortable, they are responsible for so many Twitch streamers having to actually take breaks sitting in them, stand up and do exercises just to keep their their blood flowing uh, midstream. That's gotta be the reason, right? Maybe gaming chairs aren't so bad. And here's the deal, right? I bang on pots and pans for a living, which means I sit on one of these things 24, oh, this is all covered in shit. And I sit on these things 24 seven, and I've never ever wanted to go back to sitting on one. The reason these things are also so uncomfortable, there's little to no lumbar support on these chairs, which means your back is always at a weird, I know, you don't care, you don't care, I don't really care either, but I don't want to be looking like Graham Graham over here, because I spent two hours getting my ass whooped in Warzone, and I was at a bad seating position. I can't hear you! 
They're selling game shows. What also gets me is how frequently you see these things in Twitch streams and in eSport competitions. They're pushing these things hard. I feel like a lot of people think, oh, if I gotta be a good video game player, I gotta have the chair. No, what you really need are the gaming socks. Let's not be stupid. My, my favorite little micro addition here are like the weight saving aerodynamic seatbelt loops on this side. <laughs> what, what are those doing? Oh, you gotta, gotta strap in for my Fortnite. I get it. You can use them to strap in the pillows, but come on, just throw a strap around the chair. Do you really think you're not winning your matches because your chair isn't RGB enough? And most of the gaming chairs don't even have RGB, which is like the number one thing that defines a, a, a peripheral as gaming or not. Like, come on. So what, what is here? You're not getting any comfort, you're not getting added customization, and you're not really getting any form of support from it. The only thing you're getting are some fancy looking looks, and maybe you're buying a team branded chair or something that supports someone else. You just buy a t-shirt. Don't buy a chair. Their warranties and quality pale in comparison to any of the, the, the big boy chairs that you see at Staples. They're not well built, they don't have good warranties, and they don't offer any of the features a real office chair would. Because when you look at an office chair, you're not thinking, ooh, that's a snazzy looking Coolio chair. You're looking at a chair just going, it's a, it's a chair. You don't even see your chair when you're sitting in it. So you may be asking, what would be an actual gaming chair? Obviously, comfort, blah, blah, blah. Number one, air-conditioned seats. Sounds stupid, but try them out. They will change the way you uh, envision sitting, god. But they're the best things out there. My back gets super sweaty. And having some like little portholes where I can like tape on a fan, oh, I could probably do that. Yeah, I could just take a knife and just, and then like tape a fan. Oh, that'd be, that's actually worth trying. I, I've sat in cars that have air conditioned seats. It is the best thing that you never thought you ever wanted. And it is great. Number two, infinite adjustability. I like this chair, but I wish I could pitch it front. Oh, you don't, you guys don't care about it. Move the things you want to have moved and be able to do it. <laughs> Number three, RGB. It, it's dumb on, on a chair. I, I don't want it but at least give people the option. I'm sure it's out there. I'm sure there's chairs that have it. I'm sure it's more expensive because I've, I've never really seen one with it, at least in stores or online for, for you know moderate browsing. I'm not saying I really want an RGB chair, but it'd be kind of cool if you had like a, you know, some some blue lights chilling off the side, or at least that's a, that's something tangible and like, okay, I can understand the appeal. There's some fun lights on your chair. I mean, I, freaking lights everywhere. I, I'm a sucker for color. But for the most part, you're sitting in the chair. You're not gonna see them anyway. I understand they're fun to look at and you might just want something zazzy for your room. I'm just trying to help you guys make a better decision when you go to buy a new chair and you don't get swayed by the dumb marketing. Just forfeit the cheesy looks and go for the more comfy chair that's going to be much more sustainable later on down the line. Take a look at this chair I'm using right here. This thing, comfortable as heck. 99 bucks at Staples. I even sawed off the arm so it would fit with my little keyboard extension here. And it works great. I, I love this thing. It is, it's super comfortable, it relaxes, and it's, it's again, Again, 99 bucks. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Welcome aboard. And I will see you guys next week. Oh!